Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Mundo after his changes. He's weaker in the early game, but you can still make him work and he scales a little bit better than he used to, at least in terms of his self healing. So you're gonna wanna solo start no leash on Raptors, just auto the big one, let your flames do the rest of it. You're gonna wanna finish off the big one all the way, cancel the flames, get your E. You're gonna walk up to red buff, show him who the boss is, auto attack E reset. Gonna try to pull him over here a little bit. Red buff doesn't like to move though, so we're not going to. You're gonna to wanna to save your smite for golems. Try to move in between autos to get more fleet. The more fleet you get, the easier this is. You shouldn't need to even use your potion as long as you took the runes and you're doing this the way I'm doing it. You wanna stay low HP for as long as possible, especially in your first clear, that way you get more attack damage. Oh, that sucks. So you actually want them to die around you, that way you don't have to hit them and your flames just finish them off. But one of them popped too far away. You can turn your flames off as you're recalling. And I don't know why, I'm, I literally made a build for Mundo and it's not showing up. But yeah, you're going to want to get Doran's Blade and get Sweeper. If you do this properly, you can finish your clear before Scuttle even spawns in. But if you're, it's not fully optimized, then you'll still get to Scuttle pretty soon. We're going to hit the Wolves with a Cleaver over the wall. I can do this easier off the other side, that's where I've done it more. I'm gonna go ahead and clear these guys. We we cleavered the blue buff to pull them over here so we can take blue buff and wolves at the same time. We're gonna hit Gromp with our next one. And even with my blunder on the golems early, we're still able to do this at a reasonable time. 317, pretty solid. We'll get a scuttle a little bit late, but full clear plus Dorn's Blade. You should be able to win all your fights over here now. Looks like we actually have a gank bot we could go to. I'll be going there in a second. You should be able to beat anyone solo at scuttle level 4 with Dorn's Blade. What are they running away from? That's frustrating. Yeah, it's really frustrating. I don't know how they knew I was there. Oh, well, I'll just run away. We used our HP potion, and we're not going to be able to kill anybody. That's what I like. I like ganking and not getting kills. Nunes top side, we're going to look for his raptors and his golems. What do I think of a call? I think she's OP. Early mid game, she's very, very OP. And everything's missing. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we'll take raptors real quick. We'll go mid. Don't know what's going to happen to Yon there. Still have our Dorn Blade. So we can fight the Nunu. I'm kind of scared though, because Kindred has so much prio. We'll just go ahead and reset. Yeah, he's, he's going to be sad. I wanted him to walk this way, but he's not. I guess I'll just go take his golems. Looks like he's going to try to push out into my jungle. Try to hit the big goal with my cleaver. I missed it, of course. They actually were to try brush, so I'm not gonna walk over there. I'm just gonna stay in this area and try to recall if I can. Like I said, if the little ones do pop on you, your flames will kill them and you won't have to auto them. But if they don't pop on you, if they have to walk to you, they can pinch off an auto. So you'll actually have to finish them in that case. First item, it's not letting me actually see it. You're normally gonna go for chem tank. It's safer. If you're really far ahead, or if you're gonna have the one versus nine, then you're actually gonna go for Stride Breaker. I literally mean, yeah, there it is. Here's my item set. It's these items. And yeah, so Chem Tank or Stride, you have Merc, Plated, or Swifties, and then you have all these optional items. This game looks like it's gonna be rough. Thresh Siver getting a pretty strong early lead. I can't head down there right now either because they're full HP, so we'll have to wait, come back then once we're level six, or just focus on our other lanes. All right, there we go. We're gonna go wraps into golems, we'll be level six. KSTIX Pepe Hype. KSTIX Pepe Hype. Yo, thank you so much for the three months, man. Once you're level six, you're kind of the strongest champ in the game. No one can fight you one versus one when you're level six, except for maybe Vayne. 
Something that does max health true damage and can kite you out. And you should be hitting level 6 consistently before the 7 minute mark. As long as you're not dying. I have not had a single successful gank. I haven't really stolen any min minion XP. Level 6 pre-7. Decent. Decent. If you are ahead, you can even hit it before 6 minute mark, which is nice. And he's dead. I'm going to go ahead and shove this wave. I want to steal it. Jarius is dead anyways, so it is what it is. Since we are behind Gangplank, there's no reason for me to use my R. We're already at full HP. Your R is only a 15% movement speed bonus. That's it. We held on to it until we kind of needed to use it. Once he killed Darius, he had a... Could potentially just ran away from me, so that's when I went ahead and popped it. I'll attack E. Try to get two plates. Gangplank should be in the relatively the same spot as Darius, but slightly farther behind since he died second and has a higher level. We have a longer respawn, so we get two plates here. Really, really good for us. We're getting ahead. We have way more gold than Nunu, even though he has as many kills as us. We have 20 more CS, which is four camps. They know I'm here because the scuttle has vision of me. If they were paying attention. Most likely Gangplank's gonna know. Looking at Nunu, he's coming into this area. Kindred's probably going to follow him. If we don't see her, then we're just going to leave. And yeah, he should pop like over the wall or something. Hopefully he doesn't use his sweeper. I'll just start it just in case. Because he could have gone to wolves first or raptors. So we'll just go ahead and get it going. It looked like he was coming over here into the area. I don't know where he went though. Kindred is now missing. I think she's coming top. I'll try to watch for this. I have plant I can pop. Waiting for Nunu as well. He's missing. She might have gone for my bot instead. We'll head top. Don't think this is warded. Really hope it's not warded. That would be tragic. Hit him with Cleaver. He flashed. Very nice. Got the kill and his flash. And we still have our R. I prefer Ghost on Mundo. With the way I play him, I play him very all-in like. Ghost is better for that, and Ghost also outscales Flash. If you don't, uh, if you're more of a timid player, you might want Flash instead. Flash is definitely better early. Ghost is more of a scaler for, for chasing. We finally get our full chem tank, and we'll grab a control word as well. Remember, we have free boots, so we don't have to waste gold on that. Plus, free boots give you extra movement speed, which is nice. Kindred is pretty decent right now like she's not unplayable and she's getting a buff on the pbe so i'll be playing a lot more kindred once that buff comes out you get another point in our q you want to max her q first you actually want to pull blue buff to gromp gromp doesn't like to be pulled since we have our q though it doesn't matter too much we can do whatever we want and the Dorn Blade Omni Vamp. We have our W on and we were full health that whole time. Feels really nice. Huge CS lead on the Nunu. He's towards my top side jungle, so I'm gonna go just in case he decides to. Ooh, Kindred, you're dead, dude. What are you doing? She's gonna have to back off or she's gonna die. Gotcha. She had Ignite and uh, her R, and I took a turret shot. We still win those. She's not full item. So felt pretty good about it. I think he's on Herald. He went in this area. He's either in my jungle or he's on it. We used our chem tank to stay on top of her in our R. Is he? Oh, okay. He's not. And he doesn't have... I don't want to start it since I, I'm low on health and I don't have R or Ghost, so... Or, like, anything. So, I'll just go ahead and farm this. Mundo's really, 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 really good in the mid game. And the true late game where everyone's full build, he falls off. A tank like Ramus or Zac has way more CC than him. They give more value in a team fight. But, one to five full items, Mundo's. He's pretty much power spikes. 
and he's very good against AP teams. His E is giving him up to 42% extra magic resist. So if the enemy team is very AP heavy, Mundo's typically strong. He's moving at 362. I'm moving at 380. I'm way faster than this guy. Darius, I didn't even get an assist, even though I red smited him. He was trying to time me out. That was kind of nuts that red smite doesn't give you an assist. Now you know. It's kind of funny because even if you throw out a Vagar cage and it, they're not in it and they don't touch it, Vagar still gets the assist. It's kind of nuts. I have minion. Monster Hunter debuff on. I'm not really looking to last hit these minions because of it. I want to get rid of that so I can get full gold off of minions. You see that right there. Windows amazing. I have 280 right now, guys. 280. 12 minutes in the game. That's so stupid. And I'm obviously very tanky. Need some monsters. I think we're going to use Dragon. He needs to start that. Let's click and see if this is up. It is. On my, I'm on my way. I think we got to give Dragon since their bot lane's really far ahead, though. That's fine. Losing first two Dragons isn't the end of the world. You can make the argument the first Herald is more important than both of them combined. I don't know if I'd necessarily say first Herald is. I'd say first Herald is definitely more important than the first Dragon on its own, though. Mundo with Glacial Augment isn't really good anymore since Mundo's early game has been nerfed as a jungler. So I'd recommend just taking Fleet, no Conquer. I don't see anybody mid. There's Kindred. Uh, like I said, I don't really want to take minions because Monster Hunter debuff, it's about to kick in again. Good. We have to grab some camps. Nunu's dead. I don't know what he died to. He's going to lose a lot for that, though. So that's going to lose Dark Seal stack. That's awesome. Must have died. You want to die for this, buddy? Do you really want to die for this? I guess she really wanted to die for that. We still had Chem Taken Ghost. Even if she flashed away, we were going to run her down. We're going to pull this away from there so that way the minions can't see us take it. Like these open areas there and there are dangerous. The minions give really good vision of that spot. At this point, we can just leave our flames on. You have 30% extra tenacity when they're on anyway, so if you randomly get CC'd, it's nice to have on. Ghost, Chem Tank, hit the Thrush. He's going to lantern her. Uh, kind of want to get her still. Got her. <laughs> Bonked her so hard. Have you ever seen a bonk that big in your life? Like just a raw headbutt. Kill somebody. Mundo's got to kill her headbutt. We're sitting on 4k gold. She's fed. So we're like, oh, King Sticks, you're fed. But look at her. She has as many items as I have right now. So she had that bonk coming. I think we can all agree. I am a higher level, but still. We're gonna go back and spend our gold now. Just farming because my camps are up. So we'll go back here in a second. Take these bad boys at the same time. I'm gonna go for my wraps. I don't want Kindred to take those. Yeah, this was a really slow game. Really, really slow Mundo game. Mundo is so much fun when people try to fight you when you have D-Blade level 4 on Scuttle. When they don't, the games take much longer. Because he yeah, had literally nobody. <laughs> There's no champion that can solo him when he's level 4 double buffs with... Ooh, that's no fun. Wow, alright. I got myself all worked up talking about the... How good Mundo was with D-Blade on Scuttle fight 315, but... Yep. Happens. I took from that fight mostly physical damage from the Kindred. I accidentally red smited the Thrash instead of her, which was a pretty big mistake. Still think I would have died anyways. Against their team, I'm pretty fed. I'm and my team's not squishy. Like we have Darius. I can get away with building some damage. A really good item to get on Mundo, regardless of if they are AD or AP is dead man's for the raw movement speed. And they don't have real life still yet, so. I'll get Titanic 
and I'll go for plated steel caps. On Mundo, a lot of times they're going to get Swifties because they're really cheap. Their team doesn't have, like, they have a hard snare off of Nunu. They have a Thresh Hook, Thresh. Like, they have a bunch of CC that Swifties aren't really going to help me against. And their team is full AD, Gangplank, Kindred, Sivir. Like, 80% of their damage. I'd rather have played the Steel Caps and just be unkillable. This isn't warded. We really have to stick together and not get caught like that. Hey, buddy. I'm going to R to run her down faster. This is a really close fight. I don't like how close this fight is. It's scary. I'm scared. Somebody save me. <gasps> Woo! I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm really scared. I'm gonna. I'm so scared. I'm gonna stand my ground and bring my ground to him, and then defend my ground. That's the way Mundo rolls. Oh, that sucker! Nice job, Nunu. That was really sneaky. That was really, really well played by him. He procked the phase rush straight into his W. Phase rush reduces the slow he receives off from his own W. Well played. I'm going to go for probably this guy. Siv about to be here. Yeah, I'm coming for you, buddy. Dr. Mundo smells something he likes. And it's a GP. We have Dragon coming up. S stall Drag, please. Wait. My ult's on cooldown. I don't want to start Dragon this second. If I'm half health, no R, no chem tank. I do not want to bleed this shot down. Even if Gangplank is dead, it's super risky. Because if they pinch me with two CCs, I'm dead. And there goes zero shutdown. Wow, I'm offended. I have no shutdown on right now. Walk around W on because our passive gives us so much healing. That was the main Mundo buff. Was the passive heal. The nerf was his cleaver. It does like nothing level one. Oh my god, I almost died. See, that's what I'm talking about. Imagine if I didn't have R there. All because I was trying to hit Thresh's stupid wards. You don't have to go Titanic on Mundo. I'd only do it if you're really fed and trying to 1 versus 9. If you're behind or you're just a timid Mundo player, you'd be better off just building things like Thorn Mel or Spirit Visage. To shove this to turret. I think we get a killer under a turret. She's gonna pop R, obviously. Red Smite E. And obviously, she's gonna pop R. My Red Smite Bird's gonna end on her, and I'm gonna run her down. Her team's gonna come rotate. Obviously. As, ooh, I'm dead here. Am I? I gotta keep slowing the rush. Oh god, I'm too clean. Mr. Clean on the rift, baby. Woo! 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 That's why you go dead, man. You don't want Spirit Vicious first item. I tried it and it wasn't good. Because you can't do that. Mm. Yeah, I already got your R earlier, Kindred. You little stinker. I bopped her with my forehead. Replay that and slow it down. You'll see a legendary Mundo headbutt there. Bop, bop, he's out of here. That's Baron. That's Baron, boys. It's Baron time. Let's get it. And I still have a D-Blade. You want to hold on to the D-Blade as long as possible. Not only does it confuse and disorient the enemies, it also lowers their morale by at least 30%. They start to wonder why they're losing to a D-Blade Mundo jungle. There we go. I will be getting Titanic next item, and then I will be getting Thornmill since they're full AD. If they have some significant AP damage, I would highly recommend getting a Force of Nature or a Spirit Visage. But since they have no significant AP damage, might as well just keep getting armor. Armor AD. 
We're gonna stream cast jolted. Uh, we'll sell this. We'll go for <laughs> wow, <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of O's in chat right now. We'll go Steric. Steric is nasty. We have three K HP, a bunch of armor, a bunch of HP, a bunch of magic resist because we're getting the forty two percent extra magic resist off of our E. So constantly have our W on. 30% tenacity. So many extra stats. Such a stat check champ. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. I have ghost. We don't want... What's going on over here? Why is there a... Why is there a hoverboard person in my jungle? No. No, 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 no. Two of us just died. I guess I'll split. I'll split. My teammates just need to stay alive. I'm insanely fast moving 469. Not including Ghost or R. None of them can really catch me. They need at least three people to chase. Uh, I think they're bot right now. I think they saw me on a ward or something. I think they got a bunch of wards. Wow, nice flash, dude. Little stinker. I wasted my ghost for that. They're all coming bot right now. Cleaver and run away. Hey, Thresh. Bye, Thresh. Thresh has mobies. So when you hit him, he moves really, really slow. Basically turns into a Yumi. They can't get me. As long as I keep track of how many are on the minimap. So there's three over there. Kindred, you know you lose to me, dude. You know you can't fight this. Oh, the Thresh predictions. Just don't chase. Just push if they chase. Chasing a chase is a bad chase. Well played. Darius is getting an inhibitor. Oh, at least we got the gangplank. Kindred was doing some awesome damage to me. I'm surprised. She doesn't even have, uh, what's it called? I'm going to have to sell D-Blade now. If I want to get an item. I think we just sell it. Grab pickaxe. We'll get Thornmel after Titanic. My build is a little bit greedy, for sure. It's not ideal for fighting three or more people at once when they have a long time to kill you. We should probably just group and end. The hard thing about it is if Kindred is under their turret, we have no real way of diving it. They just sit in our R and they can time me out really, really hard. Let me split top. We just need to keep pressure. Now that... No, I'm going to have to take this. Kog'Maw's dying a lot and no one's really peeling for Kog'Maw, so... If they just focus him, he'll die instantly. If I was behind, though, or if people were pilling for Cog, I would definitely give Cog red buff. Then you see how all the enemies are missing? It takes three or more of them to kill me. Oh, there they are. That's what I mean. They play really, really cheesy. I'm going to just run to their inhib. I wasted my chem tank. They're folding back for me right now. I should have probably shouldn't have hit that. It's feeling a little nervous. Don't feel like dying again. Wow, that missed. Wow, that missed. At least someone's getting bought. I need someone to push mid. Okay, yeah, go mid. Let me top. <laughs> this is... <laughs> uh, we can't let them get the next dragon either. Oh, wow. Waves are just coming past me. This is frustrating. Whatever. I'm going to go for inhib. Hopefully the enemies don't get a pick. 
like a bear trying to catch a salmon. Most of them are getting past me. The enemies are going to cross back over for me. We need someone to stay bought. All right, here we go. When our cleaver's on cooldown, we just kind of back up a little bit. And they'll come for me. Then they lose turrets. They literally can't do that. You're dead now, Nunu. Unless your team saves you. Nice. Very nice. You don't always have to 5v5 on Mundo. You can just play it like this. If you can get away with 5v5, I'd recommend it. It's just kind of hard with how certain lanes played out. Oop, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Nearly got the Thresh. If we get Inhib, it's worth. Ooh, yeah, we're not going to get Inhib. Titanic, we'll go into Thornmail. Uh, yeah, we just fight for Dragon. Drag, fight, we 5v5 for Drag. Now that we have top and hip. We can definitely 5v5 now. Because Gangplank's going to get stuck. He has no TP. He's going to get stuck fighting waves top. So. Make sure you are at drag early. We don't want to lose this drag. It's going to be really, really bad if we do. If you have a really important fight coming up, even if you're not full build, you can grab an elixir. I don't have any tenacity other than 30% of my W. So we can go ahead and go for Elixir of Iron, I think. Physical Vamp. Yeah, I'll just go Elixir of Iron. That's fine. I want extra tenacity for the Thresh Hooks. Yon's backing. Don't die before it's up, please. Let's not overextend. We have the pressure on the map. The ball is in our court currently. Oh, they took Baron. Cool. Very fun. Okay, let's push up then. I think they're going to step up and then they're going to die. Alright, let's get Dragon. If we were all in that bush, he would have died. It's all good. It's hard to be on the same page. They were gonna, they, they're gonna try to steal this one way or another. Cause they want a uh, soul. So they're, they're pretty thirsty for this dragon. Just shove mid. I can pressure bot. Okay, right here, right here, right here. This is it, this is it. Kog'Maw dies, not surprised. Kog'Maw things. Landed Cleaver, you're screwed, Sivir, hopefully. Nice, Seraphine R. Bop, she's a goner. I gotta turn around, Kindred. Seraphine died, we got Sivir. Eh, kinda worth. I'm gonna go for Bot and Hib. Alright. Shackle good this season? Yeah, he's solid. I'm not a big fan of the champ, though. Might be able to get into him. None of them are paying attention. Thresh is going to be fast, though. That hit? What? Yeah, nice try, guys. I have a lot of tenacity because of the elixir. I can't believe that new snowball hit, though. I'm tempted to go Stride Breaker at this point. After I'm Thornmel. Five mid, we have bot and hib. I guess Darius needs to back care. Darius is really low. Oh, hey Gangplank, hey buddy. Hey pal. You wanna die, buddy? You wanna die? Oh man, close fight. Uh, yeah, it's 5v5 five five versus 5. 
I can split a few of them off to the side like this. And I should try. Oh, I might just die. Yeah, I think I... Oh, alright. Okay. Okay. I need to leave. Does Seraphine have a heal? I think she has heal in her kit. Nice. All right, GG's well played. That's game. Jeez, it's all it took. Big, big boy Mundo carry. Good game, guys. Good. Very nice. Oh, what even the hell? What? I really should have just gotten mid in Hib for a triple. I think Kogma wins that if he just autos. When Sivir's half health, he just needs like three autos there. Oh well. Still in a good spot. Sivir got me with like one boomerang. I didn't even see it. Now that we're full build, we could honestly sell chem tank and go for stride breaker instead. Stride breaker is a little bit better. It's just more expensive, which is why you don't normally get it in the early game, unless you're just really, really fed. Uh, I think we can afford it. How much does this sell for? 19? Yeah, we can def... I think we can just barely. Yeah, we can just barely afford Stride Breaker. I'm down, though. It gives us a lot of AD. It's going to help us get on top of Stinky Kindred. Good job, Kog'Maw. Okay, let's... Get their inhibs. If we can get their inhibs, we're good to go. My R's up. My ghost is about to be up. Just focus Sivir and uh, those two. Thresh is going to throw her a lantern or something, right? Dude, Thresh is so annoying. Nunu's channeling is R. I can't believe we actually didn't get anybody. Tank supports are so overloaded right now. We have to go for Dragon. Hopefully they don't can't take it before we get there. We're going to be there in a minute. If they're already stacked. I don't think they are, though. So one thing about Mundo, like I said, once everyone kind of has five or more items, he see a really steep drop-off. Smited it. I did Kog'Maw just... I don't know what he used. Hopefully he still has his W. Kog'Maw's useless without W. Didn't shoot back. Went forward instead. Darius just lost half his health. I guess let's just go for Baron. Yeah, we're not winning these fights at all. Like, Darius almost died from one Sivir hit. These fights aren't close. We might just need to wait for Dragon Soul. The only... It's, it's tough. They just outrange us. Sivir outranges everybody. Reset, probably play play safe, play smart, play for Dragon Soul. There's someone waiting in this bush. This gangplank can probably someone else. I'll get an elixir of iron. Do listen to specific music genre? Not necessarily. In the stream Soren. Star Quisha. <laughs> it's probably gonna be our last one for the day. This is a long one. Yeah, where this is just gonna be a full build on everyone this game. This is never gonna end. Only way we win is if Kog'Maw lands some really slick autos with his W. Because even if I get a pick, it's not enough. Sivir just throws a boomerang, kills everything.
Those cleavers are doing some solid damage. Can't complain about that. It looks like they might be going for Darius. Kogma. Cog, you got to be with someone or you will die. You can't be by yourself like that. If you're the 80 and the mobile 80 carry, you gotta be with some bun, even if it's just Seraphine. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, we don't win these fights at all. Oh, Kogma got one. Let's go. Nice. Kogma actually killed two people there. Yeah, the enemies are just doing absurd damage. If you guys can't tell. These minions are just in my way. That landed? You're kidding. You're kidding. That hook landed? This looks like Sivir died from my red smite or something, but wow. That hook was legendary, bro. I even stride breakered off to the upper left. Darius is a goner here. Damn, I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be tough. We'll sell our boost for Phantom Dancer or something here soon. If the minions weren't in my way, I think I could have actually beaten them one versus three. The the waves, man, they're blocking cleaver after cleaver. Very unfortunate. Am I excited for the Tom Kentry work? Uh, I don't think he really needs a Wii Ort, personally. But I guess in a way I'm excited because he's got really cool aesthetics. Oh no. Okay, maybe Kogma can shred. Okay, one for one. Not too shabby. You gotta stay alive for Dragon. Oh wow. <laughs> Should I give Dragon Soul <laughs> or should I like what I could get probably double inhib or we risk losing this fight Okay, yeah, I think we Oh wow This someone just helps me take this Nice we got it. Let's go Dragon Soul Woo! Late game Mundo, alright. <laughs> I don't want to play Mundo late game like this. This is not where you want to be on Mundo. We'll sell our boost and get Phantom Dancer. Oh, I think I'm just dead now. Yeah, my bad. I hit the plant vertically. I couldn't get around. I was moving too slow. Hopefully we don't all die. Oh, man. Yeah, Yon's dead. Whoa, I threw. I threw. Hopefully we can survive until I respawn. Sell boots, I can finally get Phantom Dancer. Selling boots, I'm only moving at 404 from 457. With Phantom Dancer, I'm moving at 434, so I'm still moving pretty fast. Maybe I should just go for ghosting. Ghost for seven seconds. Ghosting, so that's moving through things. All right, I guess that's good. Ignore goat unit collisions. That's actually really, really good. Nice job, Kogma. Let's go. Yeah, Phantom Dancer, because Thresh is a beefy boy. If there's beefy boys in your way, Phantom Dancer on Mundo is actually decent. Otherwise, just go Sanguine. 
What a game. We just end. We can end, I tank. We're fighting like f f five versus two. They can't do anything. GP thinks he's slick. I can just stand here and tank the turrets. Well, maybe not. After they're warmed up. <laughs> GG's. Good game, guys. Well played. If you guys enjoy if you guys enjoyed this Mundo Jungle game, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingstick. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.